Hi, well I'm here at a place called the Mount of Beatitudes, which is the traditional site where Jesus preached the Sermon on the Mount. In fact, this uh, Catholic church behind me is said to sit over the place where that sermon was delivered. It's probably uh, one of Jesus' most famous teachings. It's where we find the blessed statements, blessed is this person, blessed is that person. But I want to hone in on a particular um, section of that preach that he, he preached here. And it's the part of the sermon where he says, do not think that I've come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. It seems there were some people who thought that Jesus, because of his radical teaching, was somehow trying to undermine the law. The truth is he did fulfill the law. We know he was totally sinless, so he observed every part of the Mosaic Covenant perfectly. But there's another nuance to what he's saying, and it's simply this. In the days of Jesus, there were two kinds of rabbis. There were those who had to teach an established body of doctrine, and there were those who what we call Rabbi Samika, or a rabbi with authority. And they were allowed to bring fresh interpretations to the scriptures. And when they did that, it was called fulfilling the law. It all comes really after a guy who was a rabbi called Rabbi Akiva, somewhere in the first century BC. And he basically said that every text of the scriptures had 70 faces, i.e. there are innumerable ways that you can understand every single text. And so when Jesus turns up, he brings some fresh revelation, some fresh understanding. So for example, the Mosaic law said, don't murder anyone. But Jesus says, no, 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 you need to get under the skin of that. And I give you some fulfilled law here. I give you a fresh understanding. And it's this, even if you just are angry in your heart, understand that that is the seedbed for murder. It's truly radical. He says the same about lust. You know, you've heard it say don't commit adultery, but I say anybody who looks at a woman lustfully actually commits adultery. Why? Well, lust is the seedbed for adultery. And that's why I love the Old Testament scriptures so much, because it's the prophets who tell us that one day God is going to come and he's going to do something different. And what he's going to do is he's going to take the law, which previously had been external, and on tablets of stone and make it internal and write it on tablets of the human heart, on soft flesh. I want you to think about um, the rucksack you take on a long hike. It's got a big bottle of water or a flask of tea and your sandwiches and that thing on your back after a while will, rare, will wear really heavily. But once you consume that drink and that sandwich at lunchtime, you weigh exactly the same. But because it's now internalised, you don't feel the weight anymore. So we just love Jesus. We love the radical teaching he brings. We love the fact that he comes not just to teach Torah, but to fulfill it, to open it up to us in a way that we understand what it is. And we thank Holy Spirit that he takes that law and writes it on our hearts and empowers us in such a way that we can live it to the glory of God and his kingdom.